stop getting that coffee bunch of cheaters. <laughs> Oh, and yeah, what happened is I pretty much rage quit on one because it was just so junky. Like, that was not a fun game to play. Not at all. Headshots, baby. I'm making new friends. Friend grenades! <laughs> hey, that's the first one I see me on is uh, nailed down. No more grenades. Try grenade. Nice try. Suck my boots, dude. Gotta jump on this gun. Okay. Oh, you can drive? What? I'm stuck though. I can't do anything. There we go. How do I just grab the gun? I want the gun. <laughs> Nothing here. No targets. Let's get back to the boys. And of course, it doesn't throw center screen. Hold that. How's your leg feeling? Dick. <laughs> <laughs> that was kung fu as fuck. <laughs> Dow of badass. <laughs> oh, are you still alive? Or... No, okay. Did he just kill himself? Oh, wait, wait, before something happens. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. Cancel. <laughs> the fiery rage just, you know, popped up. Keep forgetting it's not F. Or, okay. <laughs> the door is like in the wall now. Single shot for anybody. that. Was... Yeah, fucking one eye Willy over there. <laughs> Freddy's hasty note. I can't find you, uh, Daddy. I can't find you, and I'm scared. I hear lots of sirens, and a man says a lot. To, no, I got to go with him to some secret place. Now. Uh, he said daddy gave money so I can go to the vault and be safe. Uncle Otis is at the dam. We had a fun time, except when he was mean, so I left him. <laughs> Where are you? Let's see. Oh, my game crashed. Fun. And it crashed again. All right. Freddy wrote the codes. Yeah, as soon as I looked at the computer, killed everything. Oh, fuck, I'm blue screening. What the fuck is going on? All right. I'll be back after the blue screen of death ends.
Yeah, you're right. Freddy broke my shit. <laughs> Legitimately blue screen my shit. <laughs> Fucking Freddy ultimate uh, home alone kid. Fucking boss. I hope to one day be as cool as Freddy. <laughs> Updating your system. Love when I accidentally break everything. Game. If you guys want a good, fun action game that's very murka and stuff, ooh, this is it. Damn. Too hot. I shot you like three times. Oh, that time he died. No mercy. The fuck? Why does she have two lasers? <gasps> oh, yeah, you're dead. That's the slowest flying rocket I've ever seen, though. Wow, that massive drop off on that round. Air support is coming in. Oh wait, is there a way to hold your breath actually? Like, no. Oh whatever, she shot him. That works. I'm back here to see what happens, bugaboo. Bombs on his way. Oh no. That was solid. Bombs on its way, oh god. I didn't realize they could drop bombs. It's immune to my bullets. I was like, hey, look, I could do some elk hunting real quick. Nope, elk don't care. And people wonder why you need a 30 round mag to hunt certain animals. Because they just eat bullets. Now nah, I'm kidding, this is a video game. But they really do. Yeah, killed it with a grenade. Kind of dynamite, sort of. Not really. You saw. I wish the camera would just lock behind you. Like, it should be easy turns and stuff, but it's just not one, dude. Keep looking at me. Did it just drive through the other car? That's awesome. Physics just stopped. <laughs> they were like, nah, I'm good. Phase right through me, bro. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. 
I'm doing good, Nina. <laughs> I missed you, though. How have you been? Like, I've been busy. So when she told me about the horror of the Nexus, I met her. Of course I did. You better run. I knew her better than anyone. Oh, she kept at it. She knew quite well that I would to her wild fits of fancy. And it would take more than a good story for me to believe. She had no proof. It was always a threat of mine. Never when anyone else was around. Her turned itself on and tightly. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> she couldn't tell me what it said. What the hell? At least I the found words. the scrappings. Oh my god. But then there was the other side of it. The ever-bending truth that lay in the content of those messages. She would scribble them down every night. Back to nature he goes, yeah, and then he freaking she flipped out. To be an ancient and unknown Enemies language. nearby. She was committed to this lie. That much was for sure. So committed, in fact, that I could hear her in the dead of night, typing and scribbling. How's everyone doing? It is I, the beardiest of the beards. Anyways, we're going to do some more cyber dunk today. Hope you're all ready for that. And uh, Sushana Mana, thank you for that follow. Welcome to Mobile Infantry Trooper. Now you're one of us. There's a couple others, but they're not popping up for some reason. But that's fine. That's very fine. Oh, yeah, I remember. Um, should be Austin Clements, thank you for that follow. Welcome to the home of Mobile Infantry Trooper. Hey, boss. There's a couple more from uh, Facebook gaming side, but I have no idea where to find that these days because it's been so long. And for some reason, only that one popped up, but there was like six of you yesterday, so. Um, yeah, so two days ago, my cyberpunk broke, like, bad. I tried to uninstall something, and I guess with the Steam update and all that stuff, it kind of broke everything. Oh, let me fix the camera real quick. I, I see it doing weird things. It's back in frame. I keep pushing it out. Maybe it's the camera at this point. Like, it's been... Like a week of just readjusting this every fucking time. And at this point, it's like, did I just keep slamming into it or something? Like, that should be good, I think. Alright. Let me full screen this so I can actually see what the hell I'm doing. Yeah, it's starting to fade me into the background, so I do need this actually to be like that way. It's just weird because I keep cutting that out. And it keeps coming back. Wait, so... Yeah, that should be about right. Alright, let me recut it out of the screen, I guess. I guess... Yeah, I've only done it like three times in the last week. Keyboard. Oh, did it reset itself? No, because... Man, I swear, if I gotta keep cutting things out on that, I'm gonna start getting mad. Oh yeah, it's, it's definitely the camera moved. Okay. Okay, let me fix it. Oh, that's awesome. I like that it's not even moving. <laughs> like, it is just really on there. Alright. Alright, we'll do it like that. And 
I think that should be good enough. Welcome to pro streaming, where things just like to break. And, you know, all sorts of shenanigans. All right, so... Be all comfy in my robe, don't mind me. I'm comfy as shit. Anyways, yeah, let's get into it. How about we? Yeah, so I had to reinstall every mod, reinstall the entire game, clear the game, back up the save. Um, yeah, spent like the first day I thought I fixed it, did not. Second day, fixed it. So the second day just took like six hours. First day was like an hour. Because <laughs> I was trying a simple fix and yeah, it didn't, didn't work out. But yeah, so everything should be good now. 100% should be back to normal. Because, like, it got so bad, I was spawning into my save naked. <laughs> like, butt naked. Like, I had gear on, but it wasn't appearing. <laughs> it was weird. Oh, shit. Okay, wait, 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 wait. This might be because of the thing. Let me do it from here. I might have forgot to do this. That could be the old one, so it's being weird. Delete. Delete that, too. Um, just put that there to make myself feel better. X out of that. Work. If not, I might buy a game that I've been staring at. Okay, it's working. It's going good. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Oh, so I did put in a new mod that skips all the beginning crap because I was getting sick of it. Howdy, howdy, Night City. Welcome and we should be only like 30 Kostis, minutes to an hour behind where we were last time. Hi there. I don't Welcome remember because I didn't check. <laughs> but Hello, Ziggy. I think Thanks it was just me. after this job I hope you made it to the or something. I, I don't issue. know. I kind of forget. forget. Oh, You're shit. It loaded the wrong save. This is one where I was testing to make sure everything was working good. Okay, so it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. Yeah, because this is the cloud save. All right, I'm gonna delete this real quick. Can't delete a cloud synced save. Okay. Oh, we're gonna load from here then. Because I just straight sprinted out of the gig. <laughs> it was like, I don't need to do this right now. I ran home to check uh, wardrobe and computer things, double check that my vision was working. Um, one of the things that was happening was half my inventory was just gone, you know, so. Um, fixing the mod seems to have, like, I got that back. You won't notice any difference here, but everything is back. And that's the important bit. Like, I have this again, which didn't have for a minute there. Like, when that update hit, or whatever, whatever individually broke the game, it really broke the game. Like, nothing was working. Uh, her face was covered in, like, fucking pock marks and stuff. Like, it was horrible. <laughs> now she's back to looking awesome. I think she could take on uh, Motoko Kusanagi. Like, I think she could take the major. <laughs> Maybe not a level 30, but once she hits 50, you know, we're ready for, like, the big boy stuff. Um, anyways, let me just get rid of these. Yeah, like, I, one of the things I hope that didn't happen, I hope it didn't clear my inventory. Because I... Like I said, I didn't have time to check everything. I was too tired. Afterwards, I did, like, Victory War Thunder Grind for, like, 10 hours to feel better about myself. Okay, it looks like I didn't equip the new stuff. Or I got new stuff. That's pretty good. 23. I'm pretty sure we were wearing slightly better gear at the time. Waterproof combat turtleneck. Just imagining Archer <laughs> yelling at Woodhouse. Yeah, the camera's fine where it's at. I keep looking at it, I'm like, I feel like it's supposed to be lower, because probably was normally. I'll double check it after stream, like, 
fuck all that right now. <laughs> it's us time, me and you. We're gonna have fun. <laughs> all right, let's get to murking these guys. Okay, let's see. Got this. Got this. I'm pretty sure I just zipped through here, put in the buyers, and left last time, and then like shredded them. I don't know. I forget. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, I meant to kill you. I'll do it after. You done? Fuck done! No shouting. Well, while I'm here. I can't break. Oh, I can. Oh, we're, you're fucked in a second, buddy. Come on. <laughs> oh, that bleed. Bleed's nice. <laughs> Getting close. Body weight. Something systems. Yeah, weird that some of this art is like. I wonder if there's like an HD mod for it because it doesn't work. Also, yeah, swing. But yeah, so it looks like we only lost maybe one or two saves. It's kind of hard to tell. Alright. First, we look at the thing and read. <laughs> Toon Thornton, well done. Jake, man, was supposed to let you know uh, when my wheels are rolling good now. Kudos, mate. I've taken a look at injection angle and pressure, and I think there might still be some room for tweaks. Uh, but I know, I know you know your cars like no one else, and that soft you installed with a rev limiter, uh, first rate, not fire rate, uh, first rate. Seriously, cheers, Mark. Okay, so we did read all this before. Uh, same deal on the soft. Big thanks. I mean, we can read it again because I don't remember honestly. Um, deal. Same deal on soft. Hey, Jake. I have another request. Just like last year, you're using company car again and want you to slip in that soft. You know, to disable the tracker. Help me disappear after working hours and remove fuel limits. Can you help me out there? Uh, heard you got a new place. That changed anything price-wise? For now, I'll flick over the same uh, charge last time. I'll toss in a beer sometime on me. Big thanks, my dude. Tino Z. Alright, so now I'm starting to lose. We need to meet. Please talk to me. What am I supposed to do? You know, uh, when this comes out, Jake is dead. They might even make you kill him. Please, Seb. I promise it's the last time, but Joaquin, uh, can't find out about this. Can you do it for me? Like old times? Hugs and kisses. Registry error, boot error, okay. Or it looks like Ryan Reynolds about the Sudoku. <laughs> Here, let me look at it again. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I wouldn't mind if it was slightly crisper. Because, like, that doesn't look bad if that's supposed to be artistic. Eh, it doesn't really look like Ryan Reynolds to me. It looks like someone else. Just can't place my finger on it. And then uh, this, because I can't really read the. It's like Alzheimer presents or something. Presented. It's all fucked up looking. All right, just in case he was alive. I love the silent glass. Like Grey's invention ever. You know what, for the extra ninja two points, 
just thinking about it. I should dump bodies. Yeah, see, I <laughs> get bonus points even though they're already fucking dead. <laughs> so dumb. Mr. Puggins. What the fuck is this? I wish you could turn it up. You shouldn't make any sudden movements. Immediately just starts flailing at them. <laughs> I like that the police officers are the, uh, like, Dobermans. Or are they supposed to be German Shepherds? I think they're supposed to be German Shepherds. Or, uh, not, not German Shepherds. Um, maybe they are. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Dolores and Jaquin. I'd never do something like this, like that, babe. You know what'll happen if I find out you're lying? Jake isn't even my type. Sweetie, I promise you. Who even told you this BS? Doesn't matter. Hugs and kisses. Don't play with me, girl. Or this won't end well. Got it? Of course, babe. Love you. <laughs> they are Dobermans. Okay. I was like, I think Dobermans, but there's like one other kind of dog that uh, police sometimes use. And I was like, other than German Shepherds, I was like, it could almost be that. I just saw something. Oh, it's the light. Okay. Big Mac. I always love this song. It's so funny. I'm a big man. <laughs> oh, you're still alive. No survivors. No revenge. If you don't want people doing revenge trips on you or their kids doing revenge trips, kill them and their families. Rottweilers, that's the one. Yeah, it could be Rottweilers, but almost don't really look like Rottweilers at the same time, so it is kind of one of those things. It's just the way the print looks that it looks kind of like a Rottweiler. I mean, obviously, they're dead because I'm missing a leg and there's no tourniquet, but still. It is funny that we fought a bunch of the Sixers the other day and realized they're all wearing fucking uh, reflective belts. See, look at this D-bag with this reflective belt. How'd that work for you? Dipshit. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> Enough bullying the dead. Oh, wait, 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 wait. More loot. Oh, yeah, wait. I got another spot to hide. Free ninjutsu points. Do, 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 do. I was half expecting to find someone in here hiding. Like, how come you never find any enemies being giant, like, pansy asses, like, hiding in, uh, like a toilet or something? Being like, please, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to take a shit. <laughs> I've had a crap for three days and I've been constipated or something stupid like that. Like, that'd be great. I need more stuff like that in my games. Oh, look, I can dump you in the suicide booth. <laughs> look, he did what's on the outside, you know? Oh, man, that would actually be kind of great if there was, like, a Futurama-style, like, uh, suicide booths in the game. <laughs> Get in there, legless. <laughs> Alright, can I find one more? Oh yeah, I can't super jump with this. 
then we're done. That's only in Canada. They don't even let you do it in Canada without a lot of extra, like, paperwork and proving that, you know, there's really no hope for you. Like, you're gonna die painfully. And then they're like, alright, cool, here's some made. You know, like, you gotta really want it. Get to Jake's car. Deliver the vehicle to Jake. See, that's how we fight repos right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do like a chunky rock though. They're so cute. Like, they try to be so aggressive, but compared to Dobermans, they're, they're like little, little, uh, puppies. <laughs> Hey, look, that's on you. You saw me turn. I just didn't hit the gas. You know? Ah, I almost made it here without a scratch. What's up, bro, man? You really saved my ass. Can't thank you enough. Oh, it's got a bully bar. It's fine. So, uh, what now? What about the ride? You gonna fence it? Well, I have to sooner or later. Know a guy in Sacramento, a collector? He'll set me up for life. For oh, but for now, shit? I'm taking her with me. Spruce her up a little more. Oh, gotcha. He'll be looking for you. Wouldn't so stick around too leave. long if I were you. Sixth Street are gonna be searching high and low for Damn, this beauty. Look at those monsters. I'm leaving town today. It's like Uncle Estevez always say, soul. if you got to choose between your ride and saving someone else's ass, always choose the ride. At least you know that a ride's sure. never going to betray you. People, on the other hand. I mean, that's what I would do. Depending on the person, I should say. Like for you, Panda. I'd choose you over a ride. But yeah, look at this dude. He's missing like half his fucking skull. Unless it just the image is weird. Oh, it's curved. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We're good. <laughs> I realized the edge was like looking funny. Damn, that looks cool as shit. You know, be cool as a Requise, uh, uh reference during the fights or something. If like the final boss of all the. Uh, um... What the fuck are you pulling on? Oh yeah, I forgot this was a bad area to search for. This is exactly what happened last time. <laughs> I started shit with some dudes because they pulled a gun on me and then uh, I got shot from three different directions, just like this time. What was I saying though? Um, I forget. Excellent. The car has reached its owner. Now the money will reach you. Okay, so this is where that good deeds are always repaid was. in kind. Okay, I'm, I know where I am now. Closing the contract. So we only lost like ten minutes. Until of, next uh, time. Actually, I thought it was like forty-five to an hour. Cool. We didn't lose shit then. Like the game broke, but like not that hard. Not once I put everything back the way it needed. To. Very cool. Sure, I can't fix that shit. Can I save over it? Oh. Remember, I couldn't do the funeral home because I was too weak. Oh, 
looking good though. Surprisingly. Like most things aren't too terrible. Yeah, let's see what it is. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm grinding. <laughs> like Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> that was so weird. I wonder if some kind of thing I could buy for myself that makes me faster. Hey, you. Sitting in the wrong spot. Uh, this... This isn't the bar? It is. But it's our bar. Get up. Let's take a walk. Hey, leave him alone, cabrones. B, hey, back off. And you're busy here. <laughs> you heard what Pepe yes. said. Yes. Take a fucking Gorilla walk. Gorilla arms. Chum, fuck off. Or I implant my blade in your ribs. Oh, I'm not strong enough to put it off. All right, fine. Just try, Gonk. Come on. Let's see what you got. Come on, pussy. Well, just Let's go. real fucking interesting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, get out of the way, silly. But what? Pussies. What just happened? Landed in a little trouble. Cleaned up now. God damn, sorry. I think I've had a little too much. Fuck, what a night. Why? Why'd you help me? Because it was awesome. You would have caught a beating. Worse. This fucking town, these people, just here, minding my own business. If it weren't for you, I'd... Here, for your trouble. The rest, uh, bartender got the rest. Okay, buddy. Take a rest. Oh, can I not pick them up and throw them in the dumpsters outside? Circling him like sharks on the scent of fresh corpo blood. Could have ended badly if you hadn't stepped in, me. Yeah, well, not all heroes wear capes. How about we drink to you, then? On the house. Sure. Won't say no to a free Some of these side quests are great. To good fortune and prosperity. Long day? Could say that again. I'm on a double. He kind of looks no like break. a Working overtime to make an extra buck? Nah, just yeah, don't want to go like home. Sammy. Ten years married, you know? Ten years and suddenly I'm not good enough. No, she has to go get some side action. Anyhow, since you brought up money, you wouldn't be looking for a gig, would you be? Pay solid. Oh, uh, you want me to beat up your uh, person? Yeah, I got you, Run bro. me through it. It's about my wife, right? Name's Cynthia. She's cheating. I'm sure of it. Only question is, who will? Could let it eat away at me. Or I could get someone like you. Ain't no more than an evening's work. I'm down. <sighs> sure know. she's cheating on you? Let's start with the fact that she always stays late after work. I know she's lying. Called her office one night. She wasn't even there. Size that? Well, we got a kid together, right? Doesn't even look like me. Different hair, different eyes, all of it. Used to be easy to check these things. But with today's tech, there's a way around every test now. Why do you want to know who she's with? What's the point? What's the point? What kind of gone question is that? Simple one. Prefer, Answer it. I want to look him in the eyes. Ask him how it feels fucking some other guy's wife. Breaking up a happy marriage. Was it happy though, buddy? Aww. Like these type of quests, get to know the people and stuff. That's what I was saying. So one of the biggest things I'm liking about you Cyberpunk... You seem confused. Is how immersive the game is. Like, I am seriously immersed in this game when I play. Like, even though I'm streaming it and stuff, like, 
because there's not really third person anything, because you're in the character, it feels a lot more immersive than like, even you some seem other games with confused. Like, buttloads of cinematics and stuff like that. When you are in cinematics, it's from your perspective still. Like, it's really cool. Sure, rooting and tooting is fun. But like in Red Dead, sometimes you just want to go fishing with the crew. Exactly. Like, I like the little things. Gonna have to keep Sparto tabs on your wife. Follow her around town. Where'd she be now? She works nearby. I'll give you the address. Man, I, Knowing so her, sorry. she'll be on a smoke break. So Smokes like I got damn tire fire. Like half this city. So we Wait, finally uh, found... Um, but today, she was wearing a pink jacket. And, uh... Mm, she had a blue purse, I think. Colorful. Always like dressing up. Get a woman something nice for her birthday, anniversary. What's going on with the teeth and what do you get in return? I think that's just a shadow. Um, but yeah, I really do like the down to earth, like normal everyday people activities that you can do and stuff. So cool. You seem confused. All right. Okay. I'm Fine. I'm in. You're my hero, V. I want to say pink jacket. Means a lot to me. First. You've been staring at me. You all right, Boo? Oh, yeah. And so. Ah, me. I'll, I'll talk to you in a minute. Um, so one of the things I noticed too is without the mods, I can only look down like this, but I can't see my chest. It's literally like the lower part of my legs, like knee down. And then with the, the mod, here, I'll put on my vision, I can actually see like my chest, stomach, and hips, just like in real life when you look down. Same sort of thing. I really dig that. Like, is that, that is a mod I have in Skyrim too, where I can like really look down. Anything interesting happening in the area? Interesting. Around here. Oh, your mama <laughs> Wells. Not one single thing. That's why the kids, they join gangs. No jobs. No fashion. Where they end up? Behind bars. Or in the ground. This neighborhood died a long time ago. How do you feel? I lost my son. How am I supposed to feel? I, I'm sorry. V. Is there an I option to give you a hug? <laughs> it's just... Also, I like her like, sweater. I don't even have this body. They say that funerals are for the living. Not the dead. How can I say goodbye if I can't even give him a proper funeral? Mi propio hijo. Body, yeah. It's okay. Oh, that's right. Uh, Arisaka came in and stole I... his body from uh, I can't talk about this now. Okay. Kind of forgot about that. I'll have, a, have drink. a drink. Ahí viene. Let's see, Mama. I'll buy a whiskey. Oh wait, no. You got the good stuff. Lager, ale, ale. Tequila. That's what I was looking for. Fun, please. I need that thing that lets me um. Lets me drink. place is really cool like that's what i was saying about the game like before updates i did see that the game looked pretty dead but now it's starting to look so alive oh even the sound design is really good i found a thing i didn't even read it i just picked it up <laughs> like a boss This makes me miss going to the club. Shitty bathrooms is half the fun. <laughs> yeah, I know this might make some people mad, but unisex bathrooms. Very normal thing at clubs. Yeah, we're looking good. There we go. Okay. 
Yeah, just smooth in. Like, you can kind of see the scene there, but like, the design. Things are so interesting. Slow down. Keep hitting map. Almost makes me want to remap the button for map. <laughs> CD Barr's betrayal of the guiling woman sounds like something out of a pulpy noir thriller. Pepe was used to listening to his customers' complaints, but now it was he who needed to get something off his chest. It's like you're writing a book. It was the same old story. An unfaithful wife in a city where everything was uncertain. You about done? I'm trying to focus. I'll be nice to him. We like him. Why didn't he continue? Should I just... Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess we are done. Like you? Yeah, like me, for fuck's sakes. You're young. Move animals up in North Oak. Become a fucking priest or something. Just get off the street. How long you know he was watching me? Told her as soon as I found out. Not what I fucking asked. She wanted to do it alone. Didn't want to put you in danger. She knew it was out of our league. You ballless fucking coward. Sometimes the toilet seat is co-op too. <laughs> Legitimately? I know. <laughs> well, it wasn't toilet seat, but it definitely was either toilets or urinals can be two-player games in real life. <laughs> Like, as long as people around you are cool, it's all good. But uh, last time I went to a club, some of my friends took me to one of the local... Uh, um, it was... I don't know if it was considered a gay club specifically, but it had, uh, like, seven or eight bars in it. And it was fucking awesome. Every room had its own bar and a different theme. So, like, there's, like, the metal section. And uh, it's kind of like the castle. The castle's multi-layered place, and each level is a different theme. So it's sort of like that, but on one level. And uh, I think it was called like uh, South Winds or something like that. South something, maybe something Wind. But it was fucking awesome. I had such a good time. And then at the end of the night, drag show. So it's really good. Uh, uh, but yeah, so. When I went to the bathroom, all of a sudden, uh, two of my chick friends wanted to come and look. And so like, ah, oh, blah, blah, blah. The scene. Here, let me pause this so he doesn't talk through it. Um, so I went to go to the bathroom like a normal human being. I'm like, I got to piss. So I go and take a piss. And they start looking and gawking. And to the point, they actually got kicked out of the bathroom by some of the employees. They're like, leave that guy alone. <laughs> and they're like, it's okay. They're, he's our friend. <laughs> We're just curious. <laughs> and like literally when I walked out, I was like, I told the employees, hey, please don't kick them out of the club. They're just being weird because they're my friends and they never see me at clubs or whatever. Like, you know, kind of like my environment somewhat, you know, <laughs> and like we're all having fun. But yeah, <laughs> it was a good night. But yeah, I didn't think about that. If you send Jackie's body to other places, it, it changes up the story. That's really interesting. Like, that is such a small detail that leads to, I'm guessing, big sort of, not big shifts, but you know what I mean? Like, something later on in the game that might be different. Like, oh, God, is Jackie going to come back like Adam Smasher? Like, <laughs> he souped up his body and made him super buff or something. Looking for the woman <laughs> in the pink jacket. The woman with a sordid past. Stop right there. Okay, nerd. I like that when you look away from him, he disappears. Like a ghost. Jackets. That's a dude with a pink jacket. There she is. It was her, the lady in pink, breaker of hearts, framed by a halo of cigarette smoke. I followed her. Dreaming of the day the narrator put a fucking plug in it. Hey! Oh, did sorry, I, I thought your shirt you? had writing on it and it was like shifting. Got too close. Almost scared the dame off. Better be careful. I know, I know. Because they'll say it like 20 years. I don't know. What's
What's considered a safe distance for this? I'm guessing 20. Someone there? The woman looked around. Fuck. I forget that sometimes, even though you shoot people in the face, it doesn't hurt them as much as it should. <laughs> right, let me try the AR straight out. Do two what games the, at once. What? the woman looked around. Something weighed on her. Maybe. <sighs> I keep feeling like I get stuck. Like right there I got stuck twice. It was when I moved back, it got stuck, and then when I moved left, it got stuck. Like each time I try to heal. So I wonder if that's like the damage is like taking a second to register or what that is. It feels so odd. What? Another problem? The woman looked around. Stay Something up. weighed on her. Maybe it was my gaze. You keep this up, I'm gonna fucking puke. Stand two cars away behind her. You'll literally be invisible, according to the FBI. <laughs> Fuck it, glowies. <laughs> ah, what is with you? I'm just standing here, lady. I gotta say, the kids in this game look cool as shit. Like, they're so decked out. The dame disappeared into the guts of a building ready to collapse. I do like that he's having the air hung heavy stories. with smog and betrayal. With that elbow. <sighs> Maybe it's a good thing I'm dying. Some knives up in there. Just in case. Start with this. Hey, careful! You tear my shirt! Well, well, well. Me just breaking everything as I go by. Super subtle. Shady Ripper Dog. Falsification of academic records, criminal negligence, malpractice. <sighs> the criminal record does not exist, or you do not have permission to view it. Hey, you! What are you doing here? Fuck, Cynthia. Told you to make sure nobody followed you. Husband sent me. Suspected something. What? See, he was right. Wait, no, it's it's not like that. I well, I can explain. Uh -uh. Well, Go on, then. It. Let's hear it. Okay, for for one thing, he's not my input. He's my ripper, a specialist in plastic surgery. Specialist in this dump. Look, I know. I I had this little accident a few years ago. The victim, uh, well, the patient's family still can't let it go. That's why I'm forced to work here. Hold on a sec. What about your kid? Here's the thing. I... Oh, I didn't used to look like this. 
I had a total body sculpt. Skin, hair, eyes, everything. Except, well, you can't fool your genes. That's why our son looks different than Pepe imagined. It's not because he's not the father, just that I... I don't look anything like the old me. Oh, Why'd you change? But... Why? Why do that? And why do you think? Out of boredom? Because I was a rich, basic bitch? Everyone's got their own secret. Something they want to forget or leave behind them. I... I had a lot of them. And I can't share them with oh, anyone. Not even my own husband. I know I should have told Pepe about all this, but there was never a good time. And, and now that I'm expecting again, it... Oh, it, it, oh it you're pregnant again? Congratulations. Planned. Please, uh, tell him... Tell him that... Yes? I don't know. I don't know what to tell him myself. That, that I'm really sorry. That life's an absurdist drama, okay? Just... Just go. Hit the nail on the head with that Watch last that. point. Dress up. Just go talk to him. Buddy. Buddy. Alright, let's see if there's any loot. You got any loot, Ripper boy? Alright, I do want a quick save real quick. Can I do this? Oh, I can't fight him. I was gonna punch him in the face real quick. Oh, oh, oh. Clients. Mark O'Connell. Skin replacement, including fingerprints, eyes, gene cloaking, Liz Bryan. Change in face shape, cheekbones, chin, nose, neon hair, implants. That sounds cool. Like, that's the kind of stuff I'm looking for. I would do that. Just make my hair, like, you know, blue. But, like, LED blue. Cough up some dough. Or I'll tell the family where you live. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They'll come burn you. <laughs> Linda Nguyen, uh, eye color change, spine stretching, and strengthening. Skin dyeing. That's kind of cool. So you can do full on like spine. You can make yourself taller and then make your spine like not as fucking pathetic. Uh, Paul Kaczynski, full phenotype change uh, from Caucasian to African American. Vocal cords toned down. Huh. It's kind of interesting. Wonder what he changed his name to, or did he stick with Paul? Because you can go with Kaczynski. That, that doesn't sound too white, you know. <laughs> like it literally is kind of like you could be whatever you want to be. I kind of dig a world like that where the body's no longer sacred from like stupid church people's. So instead, it's like it's your body. Do whatever you want with it. Like you know. Be really weird though if he had a kid with a a woman and then uh, it, it turned out to be white. <laughs> like if she's not white, I should say, and he is on the inside. <laughs> uh, table of contents: Introduction to the history of plastic cybernetics, ethics and praxis. Uh, list of available implants: twenty seventy six to seventy seven. Potential complications: contradict. No, contraindications. Whatever that is. Conclusion. Acknowledgements. Bibliography. Yeah, there's some words I can't read good, and there's lots of words I can read great. Makes zero sense to me. Well, let's see what I look like. Ah, that. You know, I'm going to say the camera in this mirror is a lot better than the one in Pepe's bar. He needs to upgrade that shit, because it was pretty low res in comparison. Alright, I'm gonna go tell Pepe that y'all need to have a conversation. Poor guy, thinking his lady's cheating and it just turns out she's gotten plastic surgery to like, look all fucky. Job's done. Second. Followed your wife, went into some rundown pad. Man was waiting for her inside. I knew it. What else? Knew it, huh? Didn't know a thing. Didn't cheat on you. At least not in the way you think. Huh? What way then? 
She was seeing a ripper. Uh, I'm done with this. She'll tell you herself. I'm not getting dragged further into this. She'll tell you herself. Did my job. Now your turn. Waiting on that scratch. You know, I thought I'd be more than just one of your regular clients, but I guess I was... Actually, yeah, I want to try the other option. I know that's kind of stupid, but... So I was thinking about it. I'm like, no, I want to see what she says to him. I want to see if I can smooth it over a little bit for the wife. Job's done. Followed your wife, went into some rundown pad. Man was waiting for her inside. I knew it. What else? Knew it, huh? Didn't know a thing. Option was blue Didn't him. cheat on you. Yeah, kind of, yeah. At least not. That's why I was like, I don't really like the way she said that what shit. Way, then? She was out of rippers, getting a scan. Her skin, hair, eyes. It's all implanted. Every single last part of her. So, my son. That's why he... Yeah, it's a little exactly. better. Okay, I like that one. Jesus fucking Cristo. How could you keep this from me? Our own husband, 10 fucking years. It's not about the skin or whatever. It's that she lied. Aww, How but... the hell am I supposed to trust her now? She loves you, Gonk. Okay, yes, Cynthia was hiding something from you. Yes, she lied, but the woman loves you, you Gonk. You know how much that means in this fucking town? If I were you, I'd just live and let live, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're right. Anyway, thanks. This is for you. For your troubles. Good man, Pepe. Take care. Silence fell like a wet blanket over the city, muffling its cries. <laughs> Time to rest, I thought. Time to drink. See? That's more like it. Finally making some sense. I like Keanu. Like, this shit's great. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't really like that first option, though. Like, I, I appreciated actually kind of telling him. Like, I wanted them two to have that, you know, one-on-one -on -one conversation, but it's like it doesn't really sound like it was going to happen for one. And for two... That first option was kind of... The one that I picked was kind of stupid. <laughs> like, she was kind of aggressive about it. And just like, fuck you. <laughs> or I'm not really thinking. Like, wasn't really what I wanted. Sweet, clean speed. Is this what I mean? This kid looks like... Uh, I, like, you remember the Lost Boys? From, uh... Maybe Lost Boys or, um... The fuck is that vampire movie I'm thinking of? Are you liking the game so far? Oh, it's really good. Like I'm super immersed right now. <laughs> I definitely live here. I mean, look how comfy I am. I'm in my robe and everything. You know. <laughs> um. Was the vampire movie with uh? Was it Justin Timberlake? No. Who was it? Let me look it up real quick. It's gonna bother me. Yeah, it was called Lost Boys. Yeah, so it reminds me of that OG vampire movie, The Lost Boys, and all that stuff. You know, before they made the squirt guns full of holy water and uh, garlic? Like, that's what the kid looks like. I, I noticed that a lot of the kids in this game just look cool as shit. Like, they're just, like, decked out little adults. Like, <laughs> fucking neat. Like, the kids that walk around with the full VR stuff, it's so fucking interesting. Like, and then you got some of the generic ones that kind of just look the same. That, that was like three of them that all looked alike. But 99% of the time, I don't even like notice the kids. Like the adults look like way interesting. Like I don't know if they randomize them or what. But like they all kind of have their own story just by looking at them. But it's not full on... Um... Oh, what was that game? Watch Dogs. It's not Watch Dogs where you're like, you know, 
scan this person. What's your deal? Oh, you look at pornography? Gross. You know, you're not doing that where you're like all fucking intrusive. <laughs> Anyways, fuck these kids. Alright, let's get out of here. Where you at, Del? Bastard. Alright, so. That was a nice little I detective story. Welcome you I kind of did it. Hey, Ben. Problem hey, still eating at you? Me? I believe I've come to terms. If you'll pardon the colloquialism. Still digging through dusty books to solve the question of humanity? After revisiting my research plan and scope, I came to the conclusion it would not lead me to the results I aimed to achieve. I've abandoned it. Ah, oh, shame. Oh, Where'd you leave <laughs> off? The remains of the day. Hmm. No, I don't know it. It's no matter. Have a pleasant journey. That's great. Oh yeah. Even if the cops are in trouble, I forgot I'm not saving them anymore. Not after last time, where as soon as I finished helping them fight the uh, Maelstrom guys, they started shooting me. <laughs> Those bastards. They don't deserve help. They deserve the sword. <laughs> Alright, so that's still danger very high. Still all that stuff. I don't want to do them just yet. Okay, so I could kind of work my way that way. And then start knocking out some of the main side quest thingies. I think those are main quests. Alright, let's hit this one. One of these days I'll have the damn driving down. The only reason you're alive. No, it's not a mod. It's him, I guess, because I told him not to. When I dealt with the core, like I told him not to escape or something. I forget what I said. But because of that, I think that's why he's trying to discover where he stands and everything. Um, the new Dell, I should say. Because I didn't save him. I didn't have enough technical skill to save the OG. So I feel like that might be the last time he talks to us, actually. Are you guys some bad boys? Season thug. Thug. Gangoon. Did I deserve a grenade? I feel like, yeah. Alright, let's see what grenades we got. We got some new ones. No, we don't. Never mind. Well. Watch out! Okay. okay, she hits really hard. <laughs> that was like three shots and I was down. I thought I was tougher than that. And I have no idea what happened to the other lady. Alright, let's not fuck with them. <laughs> Wait, I'm all the way back here? Come on, game. I gotta be like this. Man, I miss Roach sometimes, just because Roach actually would somewhat drive up to me. Yeah, it looks like the car out of, uh, almost like the car from, uh, Leave Extraordinary Gentlemen. Love that freaking car. Oh, my mom got to, uh, see that car recently. There's a mall nearby that someone bought out, and they put their collection of cars there from, like, movies and stuff. And one of them was, uh, that car from League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. He had a couple, uh, Batmobiles, and, uh stuff like that that you can actually sit in and stuff like that he had like three or four plus of the uh 007 cars which i thought was really interesting 
Yeah, so my uh, stepdad and her end up taking pictures of all that stuff. Why the hell does it keep spawning on the other side of the damn buildings as if I'm not next to a road? Come on, Dell. There you go. Okay. I warmly welcome you to the Delamay network. How you been? Problem still eating at you? I believe I've come to terms. If you'll pardon me. You're in the right turn, Still lane. Through dusty books to solve the oh, question of course of you don't turn After right. revisiting my research plan and scope, I came to the conclusion it would not lead me to the results I aimed to achieve. I've abandoned it. Ah, shame. Where'd you leave off? The remains of the day. Hmm. No, I don't know it. Working my way over there. It's no matter. Have a pleasant journey. <laughs> Fucking soccer player over there. Just tossing herself to the ground I feel like she got hit. No escape from this way. Dell will stop them. We saved this time. Now we'll do the actual gig that we're supposed to be doing. All right, there's people everywhere, dude. Won't lie, V. I got a shit job for you. I can tell. Political meaning. You'll need to grab some dirty dogs on Javier Alvarado, advisor to the mayor. Intel says you'll out. find them in the office of El Pinche Boyo. <sighs> Valentino run joint. Won't more details scan the attachment. This feel a little breaking bad to you? Feels a little breaking bad. Oh, you didn't <laughs> testing. Feels a little bit breaking bad. There's so many people that are considered bad guys here. Like Valentino. You almost look like Pan Am. Oh, we almost have the same fucking neck tag too, bro. Fist bump. Why were you not able to chat at some point? Like it wasn't my bot, was it? I don't mean to stare like a weirdo. All right. <sighs> All right. If we're going to have to fight our way out, we got 26 of those, but I want to start with the lethals. Also, can I craft some good ass grenades? Good ass grenades. Looks like all I can make is the normal frags. 14. So they're just same normal grenades. Okay. Can I upgrade grenades? No, I can only upgrade my own equipment. <sighs> All right. Actually, before I do this, just in case I have to kill the bartender. How are you? Who's bar is this? Good. Why? You want to complain about the selection, decoration, maybe the barkeep? Just curious. Is all. Type to ask about throwing a quinceanera for her daughter. Besides, trust me, there are a lot of reasons you don't want to meet the boss. Try again later. Okay. I've, that's definitely not me, this. You're browsing the low level grenade. Look up a little on the list. Okay. Let me see. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Oh wait, no, that's Matic. Wait. So here's a regular grenade. 
you said, up a little higher. Unless I didn't get a uh, thing for it yet. That was for the mantis. I don't think I have it yet, but I could be wrong. Like I can upgrade my shoes <laughs> or craft shoes, I guess I should say. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I have the schematics. I need to start buying schematics. I mean, I have enough damn money. I have 418 grand. Miss the skill. Oh, the skill. Yeah. Oh, that's down here. I completely forgot that was a thing. There it is. Technical. All right, so for crafting, I would need to do stuff like this. Okay, so the scrapper. I got extra points. I mean, I'm already pretty decent in the fight, but... I feel like I'll do all this one day when I want to just sit down and craft. But I should do it right now, because I can get bonus stuff, right? I don't really need money anymore. Is that level something up? Oh, crafting XP. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, yeah, we'll put some points into that then. What does engineering do that? Use damage taken. When looting drones, max their 25% chance of looting weapon mod. Wait, so is smart weapons not considered part of my pistols, or is that... I think it's separate, actually. Charge you to charge. Grenades deal 5% more damage. Tech weapons ignore armor. Okay, so that's cool. Explosion radius of grenades is visible. All grenade types do 20 damage in addition to their normal effects. Increases damage to drones. Tech weapons, tech weapons. Ricochet. Tech weapons. Oh, you can... <laughs> can't touch. Uh, can't touch this. It grants immunity to all effects from your grenades. Enables grenades to deal crit damage. So this is all your grenade damage. Tech weapon charge, increased charge damage. So so the grenade stuff from this, I would probably grab. Maybe even uh, lock and load. All I'm seeing is that I need more perk points. <laughs> and you only get perk points, I'm guessing, by... Is that from leveling up, or is that from like leveling up the actual abilities? Still trying to figure all that out. But yeah, for now we'll do scrapper. And more components. And this allows you to craft rare items, okay. Assembling items grants 20% chance to gain free components. I don't have the points. So part of me it's like just cheat and get them all so that you don't have to worry about it and you can focus on actually leveling your character in the ways you want to. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm gonna finish this somewhere and everything.
I feel like that's almost like, uh, what's his nuts? Oh, I guess you can't see from here. There, I'll keep it for a minute. Let me just see, is that David's jacket? Because <laughs> it kind of looks like it. No, <laughs> I don't think it is. Uh, where's my... There we go. Well, it's kind of like his jacket, but not quite. I gotta say, I like this mod menu. So I was messing with the uh, vanilla menu because I was like, oh man, all my stuff's missing. And, you know, the stuff's not working quite correctly. Blah, blah, blah. 100%, this is better. Like, this setup is so nice. here often oh why because i attend the mexican bar i'm supposed to know every single caviar in the whole goddamn city huh you might know this particular her Javier. coins come from leveling up the when you work here as long okay. as i have you so it is it's from better not doing. to remember last names or faces not from just like existing and leveling up so that means i can kind of potentially get enough skill points from doing things that i'm not limited to 50. So that's what I was worried about. I was worried that, like, once you hit level 50, you're kind of screwed. And you have to, like, if you want to craft, you have to respect, make yourself for crafting, craft, and then respect back to fighting. <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> Serving decent drinks here? Got any drinks? Now that I don't really care about money this early in the game, it's kind of nice. I really do wish I could have a fourth weapon slot, though, for shotguns. Oh, you got pizza? Oh, my man. Locust pepperoni. You know, I'd try it. Artichoke and avocado pizza. Hell, I'd try that too. God, escargot. Snails, 100% animal, 100% legal. Uh, topping it. Yeah, topping it to the next level. Um, locust pizza. It'll swarm your taste buds. Uh, where's that last one? Uh, vegans can't get enough of it. I think we've seen everything else in Red also might be new. Nigiri. Now with improved rice texture and non-toxic color additives. Ah, <laughs> uh, so dystopia. Well, I'm gonna buy one booze off you. How about that? I'm sorry to say I bought something. Actually, yeah, let's do them all. <laughs> all right, what other booze do I have? That should be all my booze. All right, now let's eat something, drink something. See, you, bro. Right, I'm ready to fight. What's up, dude? No, I got an appointment. What the fuck? Get out of my face, back gun. Uh. You, you what? Piece of me. I don't need to shoot straight when my gun does. I could be drunk, drunk all day. Y'all can't even shoot straight. My drunken master style cannot be defeated. 
This dude just sitting at the bar like a dedicated card. Oh shit, I must have blown up his Oh fuck. Okay. <laughs> kinda kinda gives me a blast of the past. Do you guys remember when I did Mass Effect? Way, way back when um Andromeda came out and I did the whole series. You know who I am? I'm Commander Shepard. First you inspector. Alright, seriously. I guess I'm supposed to sneaky sneak. So I already drink everything before the save? No. <sighs> okay, drink. Drink. Eat. Drink. Or drink and then eat. Alright, cool. We're ready. Corporatism hellhole and. Whoa. <laughs> and yet you don't have to tip a minimum of 40% in real life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just learning the rules. Man, being drunk is stupid. I love it. <laughs> but at least it gets the booze out of my inventory, so that's half the fun. <laughs> okay. Alright, alright, alright. So camera can be dead. Off. Close. For a sec there, I thought that was a uh, death clock and I got so excited. Why didn't that one close? There it goes. Yeah, yeah. We're getting intimate up in here. Okay, so it's already off. Imitant. Intimatum. Nothing good. We go upstairs. Fuck you going. You lost or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. Like, can I talk to you? Good for the Eddies. Let me in. I'd watch that tone if I were you. It's not how you treat customers, especially not VIPs. Okay, VIP. Club's having a private event. Entiendes? Sorry for the inconvenience. Fuck off. Don't come back. Yeah, Someone we're... here I need to have a word with. It's urgent. And you and I have got ourselves a little impasse. See, my job's to keep people like you from going into places like these. So you best walk away before shit gets ugly. Okay. Let me see. Just shut up for that. Let's see if I can talk to this guy. Oh no, I just said no entry. <laughs> Alright, so that's bad, that's bad. Outside of this. <laughs> Look, I explore when I need to explore, like right now. Yeah, I found my way. It's peasy. Look, I play enough Mirror's Edge to know I can get anywhere I want by jumping good. Like, on Xbox, that game was golden. On PC, that game was stupid. <laughs> game sucked. Faith constantly trying to kill herself, just chesting things that she should have been able to grab. Okay, maybe I don't have the right way to go because I can't quite jump high enough. There's things that I feel like she should be able to grab, and she doesn't. Like, right there, that fence. Yeah, there we go. I'm fucking pro at jump puzzles. Okay, with years of Halo and whatnot under my belt, I'm unstoppable. Uh, this is one of those situations. 
that can go different with Jackie's body. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Part of why we lost him. Well, it's corpos don't care about paying people correctly, you know, for the, what they're worth. That's why they make so much money off everybody's backs. That's the name of the game. Move as much of everyone else's money into your own pocket. Look at that. Jumping off of nothing. It's awesome. Quick save. Because <laughs> now I don't know where to go. <laughs> oh. I wonder if this will open it. Let's see. karma do my jumping in games especially destiny <laughs> oh yeah i heard that destiny put in like a whole jump puzzle section now and so many people just complained about it because they're bad at jumping i'm glad you at least thought around that box and decided to have someone else do it rather than just straight up you know complain oh. it's one of the greatest things in gaming is jump Thank puzzles God. There was two people there. Okay, so that's literally an open window. I wonder, can I do anything kind of cool right here and pull him through? Drop his ass. <laughs> Oh, we don't... Those other bits were just simulations. 
now we ran the simulations in B's head. Now she knows exactly what she wants to do. She's gonna jump in the window, beat that guy's ass real quick, and shut down the camera. <laughs> Chum, chumbata, mi chumbalumba. How is that? <laughs> We already pinged, we already did all that. Alright, cool. Yeah. Does more damage. Six, seven, six, nine. Uh, Eight hundred. Yep. Alright, so fists are better. For now. Okay. Uh, nope, not what I meant to do. Where's she going? Yeah, I'm dead. Kill me. Kill me. I screwed up. That's something I want to do too. I want to pick up that knife throwing skill because that could be really fun. Oh, yeah? Shit. I didn't know uh, Destiny was cross platforms. That's kind of cool. Probably annoying for controller players. They're like, eh, PC's so good though, or whatever the hell they complain about these days. All right. Before you even get a shot on. Oh, everyone knows I'm here anyways. All right, let me just do this real quick. Normally I would read it, but. Some things never change. Gonks take the ballot and think they're actually Give me the, the money. Choice. I'm literally staring at it. There's never been one choice in the city. Corruption. Oh my god, seriously? Same shit, different what assholes. What the fuck is happening? And every time they think this time will be different. Well, we get what we fucking deserve. Why is it being such a dick? Give me the money. <coughs> I'm getting shot through the wall? This game cheats. Like before, I was just kidding, but no, that, that's fucking bullshit. <laughs> fucking blasting me through the wall. Come on! Chum, chumbata, mi chumbalumba. How is that? I got an idea. Let's hit him with the old memory wipe. Yeah? Turn off the Perfect. camera. Oh, we don't. Okay, cool. So, all right. Try. I don't understand. But I'll take it. Little prez. Uh, Mauricio. It's done. Birds flew in the cage, got chirpy, got fucked up. Uh, whipped their claws out. Cam scrolled all of it. They'll eat out of your hand. They're ours now. Let me know when you want to apply pressure. Hell. Neighborhood support. Dear Senior uh, Salinas. I'm guessing that's senor, maybe? Anyways. I look upon your business and philanthropy in the Glen with great interest. It's thanks to enterprising people such as you, the area is teeming with life and development opportunities. I am absolutely convinced your our cooperation can prosper under current conditions. Of course, in the event of any changes, regionally, so to speak, we will reassess our arrangements as needed. Respectfully, Javier Alvarado. Pay your, or your head will explode. Yeah, we've seen that one a hundred times. All games cheat now. Some isn't. things never cheat. Yeah, but sometimes Cyberpunk Gonks actually cheats. Gonks the ballot you think they're the actually making a choice. Only ever been one choice in this city. Corruption. 
Same shit, different assholes. And every time they think this time will be different, well, we get what we fucking deserve. True. Oh, I'm sad that we killed our boy who's a comic collector. That's fine. Just need to think about it. <laughs> Flawlessly. All according to plan. Glad I can count on you. Contract closed. Huh. Sup, Miltech Ranger guy? Boring me to death. Oh, in the wrong spot. Enemy contact! I'm engaging! <laughs> Shoot the kill! Ah! Uh, damn! Open it fire! Luckily they're not cops, so it's all good. So neutralize the perps, huh? This might be an opportunity. Fuck, he shot the grenade in my face. Talking all that shit. Everyone I was fighting is dead. <laughs> Extraction. Pursuant to the ongoing investigation into the case of Javier uh, Alvarado. Uh, what did you say? Gerardo? Gerardo? Estevez? is to be located and extracted. Estevez is suspected of possessing information on the cooperation between the aforementioned Alvarado and the Valentinos gang. The investigations department has determined Estevez's place of residence and church street, detailed coordinates and attachment upon arrival at the site. Estevez shall be incapacitated and transported to the neural investigations department. Intelligence suggests Estevez will be found alone any potential witnesses are to be permanently neutralized. The operation has been approved by NCPD. There will be no police intervention. Sincerely, Keenan Thorsten, Deputy Director of Operations, Investigations Department, Night City Branch, Militech. More yummy Euro dollars for me. Good haul. Now I got this thing for a little bit. 300 bullets worth. Right, let's see, what's our next job? What's your next jib? Kind of feeling the cyber psycho. Uh, before we continue, though, I am probably going to take a quick pause. I'm going to go to the bathroom and I'm going to get a drink because I realized I sat down and uh, uh, forgot to grab a second like refill think I'm before uh, stream I ended up drinking it all so I'm gonna take a quick pause I will be back <laughs> Get 
tripped. Did oh, he's dead. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> That. I'm so used to just get up and aim. Like that's that's my thing. <laughs> it is so bad. So much to put the front out of my hair. <sighs> you want Like you didn't even want to try to fight back. You're just like, this is fine. <laughs> I found him more than the LAPD shoots cars with Asians in them. What was it? Uh, two Asian ladies in that car. They shot it like 97 times, and they were fully like, "Sorry, we thought we saw a black dude in there that we were chasing." Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes sense. Mendo a common does fucking stupid. All right, all right, Jack, but you can't do it again. Wait, shit, wasn't ready. All right, now try. <laughs> what the fuck, my dodge ain't working. There it goes. All right, so you gotta do it massively. Really. What was that? Spirit gun? Did a whole thing. <laughs> Why doesn't it work? Oh wait. I mean it kinda works. No, I don't know. Turn camera. This <laughs> is so stupid. See any double barrels yet. I saw a pump action that I'm surprised. Is that what I think that is? Is that a mortar? <gasps> it is! Oh, baby B. And... <gasps> Ooh, and it's one of those kinds of games where you can do it this way. Fire! Three, two, one, and splash. <laughs> uh, get wrecked. Oh, that's way off. All right, fire. Bang, fire. And kerbang! Hang! Fire! I actually don't know how to do more stuff like that. I think they say hang once. And they're prepping and that's it. Yeah, let's see if I can drop it on his head. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh god, any other red marks around? Nope. There was one civilian in her mix, so she built the truck too. America. That's right, puppy. You know all about that. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Will I hit it? Yes, I will. Oh, no, I missed by that much. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I found my new favorite spot on the map. I feel like the boomers from Fallout. <laughs> Target acquired. I probably should change back to my, uh, 1911, because this thing's nice and all, does a lot of damage, but it's just so slow. Oh, whoops, that was a friendly. Aw, oh, now I feel bad. said interact oh god what the f okay oh god <laughs> help me boomer Oh god. Okay, crop circles another time. <laughs> Getting wrecked is now. Hello. I'm back. Alright. Where were we? That's oh, right, we're I guess I can go back to the anchor. We respected Santa Moet, and she looked after us. Feels like something that might pop up later. Works for like mods or something. <laughs> Those ones from before. Oh, I know. Oh, Alright, 
Well, these ones I might not be able to avoid shooting. They try to mess with me. So who's gonna mess with someone holding a heavy machine gun, realistically? Do these go away? Like, do you have a limited time to grab these cars? Or do they all just kind of stack? I wonder if that's related to, uh... No, it has a different name. I was going to say the Major would be cool. Ooh, Ragnar. Looks fucking mean. It's like a Rolls Royce and a uh, Escalade made of fucking baby. And it was on meth. <laughs> to buy that one. Wow, that's kind of badass too. I noticed that the quadras always look kind of cool. Alright, that's literally a Rolls Royce. <laughs> Just armored up. Four thousand, twenty-eight thousand, thirty-nine thousand. It's kind of cool. Kind of looks like that Batmobile I wanted. What was it? The Avenger. <sighs> If I gotta go that far, not yet. <laughs> we'll come back for that. I didn't realize that it goes somewhere to pick it up. I don't give a fuck that it's not in production yet. It has to be that one. Get me? What? No, it can't. Look at those bangs. But yeah, finding this HMG, I was just like, this is gonna be a mouse tool for later. <laughs> Something illegal. Oh, well, it's probably because the ADS for like 0.1 second. Hit me. See what happens. Attention all NCPD subcons. APB out for suspected organized crime activity on Skyline South. Primary target is Denzel Cryer, a.k.a. The Brain. Cryer leads a subgroup of the so-called Animals Gang, known to traffic the illegal supplement commonly called Juice. City's got a reward on offer for neutralizing Cryer and his entourage. That's Chrysler. Is it Chrysler that has the wings like that? I forget. 
fancier cars. Alright. Let's see what this cyber psychos issue is. Kind of looks similar to that other one. Cool. You guys look fine. Oh, down below. Mm, no way. I'm a tech, not a miracle one. Pick up Suggest Corpo, possibly ran the show. Buff man in a cheap suit equipped with cheap basic. Uh, cyberware. There was like the security on set. Oh, so it is Rolls Royce. Okay. Yeah, yeah, with the wings. Like, my brain was like, I think that looks like a Rolls Royce. Probably is actually some kind of Rolls Royce. And then they had the R, and it's a different name on the sign. But at the same time, my brain was just like, nah, it's Chrysler. <laughs> Saigon Sisters treatment. The scene opens with a close up on Kenny and Lynn. Or, sorry, Lynn. Posing for wedding pictures by Seaside Cafe. Sign and logo visible in the background. Slight blurring, but still legible. Scene shot against the sun. Slight glow and lens flare. Typical lively wedding music plays in the background. While the wedding guests' conversations are dull roar punctuated with a loud laugh and cheerful shouts. Sudden change of mood, the music shifts to something more ominous, while the sound of the motorboat engine roars louder, obviously approaching at high speeds. Uh, the next scene is overcast. The motorboat reaches the shore. Camera, pan in on figure on the motorboat. It's a terrifying double of Lin. Borged out and with a face contorted in pain and rage. It's Lin's sister. Dao. Dao angrily uh, confronts her sister, accusing her of putting her into a coma by spiking her wine, then installing the worst combat implants in her, in her while she was unconscious. Dao lifts her arms to reveal the implants. The colorful party lights uh, glint and dance on her chrome forearms. Lynn's face uh, turns to stone in terror, and the music soars in dramatic crescendo. Close up on Kenny's confused face, his eyes darting from one sister to another. Dow hurls herself at her sister, but security steps in at the last moment, and they all tumble into the waves. The final scene of, of the season comes to an end with a loud splash and scene. Someone breathing funny out here? Must be upstairs.
everyone seems fine. Finger on the trick, V. Oh, there she is. Identical to that of her assailant. Multiple post mortem wounds, possible crime of passion. Killed while posing by the sea. Crawled over to a woman to hold her hand before dying. Casual clothes, no makeup, not camera ready. Okay, so if the crew's dead too, likely camera or crew member, um, then I'm assuming this is real. Assault by mob, murder of corporate rep, unauthorized possession of corporate suit. With heavily modified, netrunner, cyberware, and long sharp blades. Weird that she's not trying to like kill everybody up here. Alright, well. Go the long way. She sounds gross. You know what I mean? Be a show lady. <laughs> Try me like that. Lucky I don't eat your ass. Message to Dal. De my dear sister, the time of revenge and white light of frost white chrome and contempt has come. When you wake up in the cold fluorescent light, remember how you humiliated me at my wedding. How I became the laughing stock of Night City, thanks to you and Mr. Stud Prank. What kind of name is that? I hope you'll enjoy my revenge, as I've chosen the most hideous implants from Jig Jig's nastiest ripper docks to make a few adjustments to your oh so beautiful body. Ah, and I almost forgot to mention, I'm getting married again. My future husband needs no introduction because he's your fiance after all. And you know him so well. That's right, Kenny. But don't worry about him. I doubt he'll spot the difference. He's never been too observant, that one. I really hope you enjoy the craftsmanship and effort I poured into your new shell. It's the perfect match for the monster inside you. And I'm sorry to do this, but you're not welcome at the wedding. I'd hate to scare off all my friends and guests, or even Kenny. I'll be sure to send you some stills taken from outside your favorite restaurant so you can always know what your life might have looked like. Stay strong, sis, and stay away from mirrors. Your favorite sister, Lynn. XOXO. What a whore. But as we found out, this is all a movie, and she got the real implants, which made her go never shake you, I guess. Damn, look at them fucking fate. Or lack thereof. Right, have fun being up here or whatever. I 
search the area and collect info. Did I not already search everything enough? Oh, okay. I forgot to grab all the loot from the dents. Grab that thing in a sec. Damn, bro, bro died of the first bullet to pass through his face after he got, like, one in the chest. <sighs> All right. My dearest Lynn, I heard you've been worrying about security at the wedding. Well, put it out of your mind. As one of our biggest stars, you know that your comfort and peace of mind is our top priority. I would never, ever let your sister ruin your big day. I'll see to it myself. You have my word. Your safety comes first, and that will never change. Even if you lost your looks, your talent, uh, never, no matter what. Besides, Dow's in a coma, and will only wake up once you and Kenny are out of sipping watermelon mojitos on the beach. So chin up, and don't worry, or you'll get fine lines. Remember, your skin needs time to recover after the transplant. Yours always, Celine. Oh, and if you weren't here for it the other day, we came up with a name for the kid. It is, um, Selena. You know, cat ones. <laughs> okay, where'd my MG go? I probably shot the crap out of her. There it is. Boom. One just right down the road. Oh, I did forget to text her about it. Oh, maybe there's more to this one. No, looks like it was fine. What was this one called? Oh, here it is. Seaside Cafe. Okay. Listen, a gunfight broke out in the cafe on the waterfront. See what's going on over there. See, this didn't pop up earlier, else I would have read it. Um, going on over there, okay? If it's a cyber psycho problem, I want that problem still to stay alive. A popular cafe with beautiful view of the ocean, usually crowded at this hour. It acquired cult notoriety after Saigon Sisters was filmed there. And it's uh, Hyun, I think, favorite eatery. Poor thing, lying in a coma after an allergic reaction to tannins. Anyway, cafe booked now for some bougie reception. A few of the guests already arrived, and the newly read newlyweds were getting their stills taken that's when it all started guess someone seriously objected to the holy matrimony got some good news there's a happy ending to your favorite tv show after all our psycho star is still alive and well uh flicking you the deets glad she's alive maybe there's a chance she'll start telling apart uh real life oh shit I hate when they do that Uh, real life from TV life so we can start helping her I'm just worried what will happen when she finally realizes that the massacre wasn't fake blood and artificial limbs get a load of this it wasn't a, an actual wedding it was supposed to be an episode for your favorite TV show Saigon Sisters spoilers incoming the plan was to pit both sisters against each other by chipping one with faulty implants and putting her in a coma not from an allergic reaction, but with legit poison. In the meantime, the other sister gets plastic surgery to look like the sister in a coma, so she can marry the latter's fiancé. 
How whacked is that? Except the coma sister woke up too soon, forgot she was on a TV show, and clearly didn't like her new implants. A fact she made known at the at the wedding reception. Uh, with a performance no one's uh no, wait. What was I? Performance no one would forget. At least for the ones that managed to escape. First she took care of her sister, then the husband, and finally the whole TV crew. That's when guts really hit the fan. I thought Maelstrom uh, were fucked up, but Showbiz takes uh, takes the cake this time. You're right, it's a reality show. Watson Horror doesn't even compare. It's just Watson Horror. <laughs> I forgot. I'm guessing it's supposed to be Cologne, would be my guess. Yeah, I think I think that company's supposed to be Rolls Royce in the game. And I wonder if it's got like an infinity front. This game's so pretty. What? Give me that back. <laughs> that is so neat. It reminds me of my lightsaber umbrella. I finally found it once I cleared out my closet the other day. And uh, I've been looking for it for like a year because I thought it was in my car and it wasn't. And uh, what it is, uh, it's Luke's lightsaber hilt. And then, was it Luke's or Anakin's? I think it's Luke's. But, so Anakin's technically uh, lightsaber, but when Luke finally got his hands on it. And then, um, so it has this clear bit with the uh, fiber optics that go all the way up, and then that all lights up, which is sweet. And then the top is like a normal umbrella with the, uh, I think the Rebel logo on it. It's really cool. V, a few Zeta Tech corporals walked into an auto shop. The punchline none came back out. Apparently it's a family business that's fallen on hard times. My hunch is the owners finally snapped, and you know I got a nose for this stuff. That was unfair. It was pointed straight up. And uh, yeah, that shouldn't have went off, in my humble opinion of how mines work. As a professional not mind stepper. Fuck you, you ain't gonna fool me twice. Let's make you easier. All right, seven A fifty five one C. Easy peasy. Oh, you're a nerd, nerd. Right, let me see. More responsive, no pulse, death caused by severe concussion, most likely from an IED. All right, let's fuck with him. Count the bullets, bitch! Probably not to kill him. Oh, yep, you're still alive. Good job. Welcome to Gutshot City.
And that's how we deal with cyber psychos. I think I'm good for like two more firefights with this gun. So we'll probably take that next gig and we'll probably be covered in gonks to shoot apart. I love watching the limbs just fly. Especially when they're fake limbs so they shoot at the white stuff. <laughs> just looks like a Chinese uh, edited anime. <laughs> you know, where they, they turn the blood white and the whole the scenes just look wrong at that point. <laughs> All right, stop, don't do it. Let this be a warning to anyone thinking about buying this shop. Don't be fooled by the fantastic location or top shelf equipment, because guess what? None of it will be yours. Even after you sign whatever agreement the corp gives you, what, you surprised? Well, so was I. I shouldn't have been, though. Uh, it was right there in front of my eyes, in black and white. I didn't want to waste my time reading some complicated agreement with more twists than uh, that Apple novel by a certain Virginia. Uh, I already know who this is based on. I also didn't bother doing my research or else I would have found out the shop changed hands three times already this year. And the previous owners disappeared without a trace, except their debts. Mm, except their debts, that is. All I can say is I've dealt with my fair share of gangs looking for protection money. Or a one-time heist. But nobody, and I mean nobody, has ever fucked me over quite like uh, the suits at Zeta Tech. So I've only got one answer for them. A wrench to the face and a vice for their fingers. So this is based on, from what I can tell, at least in the beginning half, this is based on Killdozer guy who didn't do his research, did a bunch of dumb shit, and then got upset eating spaghetti and made a Killdozer to go and uh, fuck with stuff because of papers he fucking signed and didn't obviously read correctly, went to court, and even the, uh, not the lawyer, the judge even was like, what are you, stupid? Why didn't you read it? <laughs> you agreed to this. This is your own fault. And then he wanted to get all butthurt about it, and yeah. I mean, we still make fun of the Killdozer guy, but at the same time, he's fun to love and fun to hate. Just give him an extra bullet just for being such an asshole. No responsive, no pulls. Death caused by IED. Suck a cap with camera. Ooh, he's got a combat camera, boys. Alright. Nice katana. Foreclosure notice number 23HT slash 15. Due to failure to uphold terms of agreement, no UPL slash 12064, and failure to respond to letter of demand of outstanding payment number 11,055. Uh, in accordance with paragraph 628 of the aforementioned agreement, the real property shall become the property of Zeta Tech within two days of receipt of this document. The decision is not subject to appeal. I mean, I fully agree he got fucked. Like, didn't have to go down like that at all. Right, let's get some free points. I forget, do I get something for reactivating him? Oh, I now get friendly mode though. No, I don't get anything for that. Let me see what friendly mode does. Hang on. Ah, cool. Disarm. Friendly mode. Fun. Oh wait, that's right. Friendly mode uses up uh, brand, so I have so much of it. No. 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 Nice try, though. 
So they must be turned on to like a proxy mode, but like how? Would it be like seismic sense? Like it can tell that someone's walking near it compared to the laser, which obviously is directional. That was actually close to me messing it up, if I'm being honest. I'm glad I bought the RAM upgrade, even though I don't really hack. It just means I can do more shenanigans for the most part. Engineering plus seven. Yeah. I can be helping myself. Dude was prepared, prepared. Like it's fun. <laughs> yeah, I think that's all of them, except for the ones upstairs. Not the game before. Oh, I guess it's not. Inside. See how gaunt his inwards are. It's kind of great that you can see where they got blown up. Search computer for info, search the area and check it. Penis Handle Jail. You can watch it back. I love the spam emails though, <laughs> like it's just so real. Uh, license? What license? Hey, I got a cease and desist from ZetaSec. They say I'm using that lift in my shop without a license. What is this? I bought the whole shop from them. I uh, spent my life savings on it. They want to get me again because of some license? Could you check and see if they made a mistake somewhere? Uh, what sort of eddies are we talking about here? Cast on. The contact is Zeta, Zeta Tech on your behalf, and it does seem that the equipment in the shop was not included in the deal. Sorry, B. You bought the shop's building, four walls and floors and ceilings, that's it. I asked about the price of the tech, but they're unable to give an estimate because the shop in which it's located has been bought out. But I'm the one who bought it out. I think I would know. So what do we do now? Uh, now they want to buy it back from you. And since prices have fallen in the area, you stand to lose a fair amount. But then we have priority to buy it, uh, buy it back. If we want to speed up the process, we could give them an offer right, right now to purchase the shop and equipment along with the loan approval for whatever is needed to cover the difference. That's the good news. Bad news is the equipment costs about double the shop itself. Fine. I don't know. Go ahead and file that loan application so I don't lose my chance. Then I'll think it over some more. Besides, what's a shop without equipment? I can't even work without it. Alright, Gaston. It's all ready. I just need your signature and you can reopen. Great. Thanks for your help. It's hard to deal with this all by myself. I'm going back to work, finally. My gun. This seems so hard. Give me a sec. Oh, 
Okay. Let's keep these open. Eh, this place sucks. I mean, at least it's got good music. We found everything. <sighs> Got noises coming from an auto shop. Sounded like a series of explosions. My take? Either the roof collapsed or someone's gone cyber psycho. Auto shop owner was on a rampage, but I managed to put him in put him to sleep. The way corpse here gobble up small businesses, it's almost painful to watch. Sorry, one second. Uh, before they even clock what's happening, the owners are locked out of their own premises and slapped with the colossal debt. Then they bust their asses for the corp uh, from morning to midnight to make ends meet. Looks like this one preferred to take his own life than give up the, uh, the one place that was his. See how quickly the American dream can turn into American Nightmare? All right, now that I have mines here, you know, it's protective for him. I want to be able to fly around and stuff. It seems so cool. All right. Giggities. You know, as much as I like driving around, it is really fun to just walk around. So then you can really like look at people and stuff. People, including his own sister and mother. His execution will be open to the public and for those who prefer to watch from home. It's on you. I still can't tell if these are actually people helping the other person or if they're like weirdos trying to like lure them to their house. Cause I never get arrested when I shoot them on sight. be hovering. I'm gonna guess not really. Right, Where's my god? <laughs> huh, fuck off. I know the worst thing. Seeing right, him. What do they want for this one? Like I heard what he was saying, but Gun for hire, bus depot. A few weeks ago, police officer was shot dead. Same old story. Valentino kids got into the scrap with the badges. The fatal piece of lead was shot by a ganger named Jose Luis. The investigation was dropped after, and officers from the local precinct were told to back off. Pretty interesting turn of events, wouldn't you say? 
Jose must have some friends in high places. Here's the deal. One of the officers wants Jose to be brought to justice, which is where you come in. If you happen to find out who's protecting the Valentino, I'll throw an extra. Okay, so after this place shut down. I don't have to kill it. Quiet. Dude, what's up with these buses and Hold on. We gotta take this. Finally! I like that's not letting me ping half these people. Or mark them, I should say. Eh, look, you know what? Let's just go loud. Alright, start it off. Come on, give me a good. Grandpa's gonna find you, Zora. Hmm? Oh, I see. There's a timer up there. Qué mierda? Huh? Oh, chill, me. barrier was there. No wonder I couldn't get through because I was backing up trying to get through it and I'm like why won't it let me? 100% forgot it existed. <laughs> oh, fuck off. You know the worst thing? Oh, you shit. Place, okay, good. Sat on our couch. Quiet. No more questions. Hold on. God damn it. Stop doing that. Really? It's back to that glitch? Fucking A. Give me it. There we go. Maybe this.
Look up, stupid. I can't look up. Oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> Why does it whip out my sword out there? It must be like a reload bug, like whenever you um, load a save, it just drops it. Let me see something. Just to test it. I made a save a little bit farther back. Glitch that happens. Stupid. Fucking dumb. Oh, fuck off. You know the worst thing? Seeing him after this place shut down. One tap through a wall again. Come on. Fucking my eyes are about to roll out of my head from that sort of crap. That's twice today I've been one shot through a wall. Or, you know, attacked through a wall in general. Seeing him after this place shut down. I was going to say, everyone's gut is a profit as long as you pay attention to it. doing all gentle like yeah get her in there
but it's not screwed with the blue blood here. I noticed that the game's a little better than lit, so I wonder if that was an update. Because it did go from 162 to 163. Whatever, brother. They wiped one of ours! What? I'm on your scent, bitch! Body identified. Huh? I didn't know they checked trunks. Give way so. Pistols, though. Very interesting. Bushid and Neo Postmodernism. The Bushido franchise is a litmus test of our time. This groundbreaking film series puts on full display the entire spectrum of American society, masterfully pointing out the greatest problem of the neo modern era. Live fast. Uh, die never. <laughs> was it? What was the line from, uh, uh, fuck. It's that movie or the show. Ash versus evil. So it was a evil dead TV show that came out a couple years ago is great. Fucking fantastic. Uh, you know, it holds up freaking, um, Campbell still has it, you know, and there's a line in it where Ash says, uh, shoot first, think never. <laughs> like, I'm like, that's how I live my life. <laughs> like, even in the military, shoot first, think never. Like when we do shoot houses, uh, you know, some dummies would have the gun, some wouldn't, some people were hostages, stuff like that. And you had to know which thing to shoot, which not to shoot. And I was fantastic at it. And I didn't have to think too hard because ADHD is awesome like that. And it just made me go and head boop, head boop, <laughs> just two to the head, one to the chest. If that was the day's uh, thing or we're doing two, two shots per target. So that would be a control pair. And then the other one was control pair with an inc incapacitation round. So it'd be two to the chest, one to the head. That's incapacitation round is technically the one to the face. You, you're not really going to, if you survive it, you don't want to play the game anymore. Like you're done. You're like, I don't want to play. I'm sorry. You know, I was even here, you know? Um, yeah, I got really good at pinging heads, <laughs> you know, cause why may people suffer? Uh, anyways, but the live fast die never just reminded me of that line. Uh, was, uh, Oh, so, which reminds me of what I was going to say. So when I went to change jobs, because the first year I was in, I was rocket artillery with uh, 13 Mike, and that shit was boring. It was MLRSs, then I did high Mars as, as they phased those in. Then I swapped to light infantry. Well, when I finally went to infantry school, uh, I'd been with my infantry company for like two years at that point, and they forgot to ever send me to get actually qualified to be a grunt. And they're like, oh, shit, if we don't do this now, you're going to get kicked to, like, some other company. Because uh, in that specific, like, area, we didn't have rocket artillery. Like, I was the only one in the entire state or whatever. Like, you know what I mean? For, like, three states. Like, I was the only one. So, like, we're going to have to ship you to, like, fucking Florida or something. <laughs> and I was like, no, <laughs> I don't want to. And so, they're like, all right, we're going to send you to the infantry school real quick. It's like, you know. I think it was like two weeks or a week just to like refamiliarize yourself with like everything which was stupid for me because i'd been doing it for so long like 
everything was so boring because it's like I already know this shit. Like it was just dumb shit. Like I guess some people are just really, really not grunt oriented in the brain to where they have to learn like how a 240 works. They have to familiarize themselves with 50s, uh, like the M2 Mark 19. Uh, I fired off literally a hundred or so. No, it was like a hundred or so, maybe 50 practice rounds for the AT4 because it was a class of like four. No, I want to say like nine of us at, at most. And so we just ended up with so many extra rounds because they were just, they were supposed to be like 30 people and each person was supposed to fire 10 rounds. So you just had me, I had other people give me their, uh, uh 320 rounds so the 40s because we were swapping from 203s to um 320s and i already had mine with my unit that was the one i kept on my hip as like a pistol as a joke but i mean it worked great because you just go thump and you know 300 meters i can pop a dude in the face with it like it was awesome but uh yeah so i ended up with over 100 rounds shot that day of like the fucking things and then when we did the mark 19 with live ammo at the at the uh range the fucking instructors knew I had already been a grunt for so long. They're like, all right, let's let's have some fucking fun. I was like, yeah, let's have some fun. So he would tell me specifically out out on the range. It's like, you know, two kilometers just stuff. And then there's trees and stuff. And he'd be like, all right, hit that tree specifically. And it was like bang on every time. First round hits, last round, you know, it's close. <laughs> but yeah, like almost every time I just smack the tree right in the center to try to see if I can topple them over and stuff because they're already dead. Um... But yeah, that was a good time. That was a good time. And then we finally did the uh, reflexive fire. And that's where you walk forward, shoot, run left, shoot, run right, shoot. You know, so you keep like moving, aim down, move, aim down, like shit like that. Like one, you're walking away, turn around, shoot, stuff like that. And the other dudes in the class were talking so much shit to me because of whatever reason. I can't remember what it was. Like, maybe I was too quiet or whatever it was. They were just like, I don't know why the instructors like you so much, basically. And at the time, I just lost rank because of, I don't remember if I got into a fight or what happened, but I got demoted. It happens. Like, there's no good NCOs that didn't lose rank at some point, the way we always put it. Um, but yeah, so I got demoted at the time to E3 from E4. And I had already been promoted back to E4 just before this happened because they're like, we're not sending you as an E3. You've already, you did your time. You did your like punishment. We're going to give you back your rank. And I was like, all right, cool. But they forgot to pin me. So I didn't have it on, but on my cat card still said E4. But they're like, you're, you're an E3. You don't know shit. I'm like, bro, it's the E4 for like three years, like four years at that time or whatever it was. Like, you know, it was, it was a while. And they were talking all this shit. So, yeah, during their flexifier, I'm like, all right, I'm going to shut them all up. So every shot was in a group about the size of my fist in the face. And no one else was writing their name on their targets. But I went, you know, Specialist Miller, you know, fucking today's date. <laughs> and then did a little signature at the bottom to really just flex. And I was like, this is how you guys should be shooting. Because they were, like, missing you know, reflex, you, you aim after you move and they would like shoot the areas around the target. You know, like there's hitting paper still, but it's like, how are you missing? We're within 50 meters. Like you don't have to look at a 50 meter target. You just kind of sneeze in that direction and you hit it. You know what I mean? Like you throw a grenade 50 meters, like get good. So yeah, they were talking all this shit and I, I put everything like in a head, like, you know, probably about that big, you know, like smaller than a baseball all in the face. And uh, when same sort of thing when I was doing the uh, pistol qual for um, to get my armed license in America, you know, in the states to do uh, armed security contracts, you had to go and do a pistol qual and all that stuff. Well, the last iteration was me and the other veterans that happened to be there, and uh, so the instructors were having fun, and one of them's like, "Just as a joke, Nick, I want to see if you can hit this." And also because I know you are going to hit this. And uh, he drew a dick on the top of the, like, the target's, like, yay big. And he drew a dick, like, up here somewhere. I shot it right through the dickhead, like, right in front where the hole would be. And I just put a round right through there with the pistol. And then the rest were all in the target area. Because he didn't like the way I shot at first. He was just like, man, you shoot so, like, combat. Like, 
that's a combat stance. You need to shoot like, you know, the way you're supposed to, which is rigid arms. Like you hold it like this and do all this where I shoot like this, like my elbows are down and I'm tucked and like, I'm very stable, but I, I hit within here, you know, I'm not trying to go for X every target. Like, you know, stupid. So I, as long as the guy's, you know, not coming after me with a knife anymore, I'm happy. And, uh, yeah, he's like, nah, you need to try to aim a little better, you know, try to really hit the center. And I'm like, I don't give a crap. As long as I pass, bare minimums, baby. And he's like, I guess. And I'm like, yeah, D's get degrees. And he's like, okay. And then, yeah, later on, he starts fucking with me. It was great. Like, I had a good time. Uh, what was I saying anyways? Uh, live fast, die never was in its own way. Uh, generational manifesto. Oh, sorry. Had a hang now. On the affirmation of life. The use of vivid colors, shaky cinematography, unambiguous blood effects, and pervasive brain splatter testifies to the extraordinary uh, self-awareness of the director, who once revealed in an interview how he fucking loves it when hot chicks dissect the shit out of the bad guys. <laughs> what, did I write this? Anyways, <laughs> except it would be muscle girls. <laughs> Anyways, perhaps no other concept. Uh, more aptly describes the underlying societal ethos when Bushido 3 was released. Especially worthy of, of note is the repetition in subsequent installments of the implant bomb motif. Sorry, motif. Ah, through the prism of which the protagonist reinterprets reality. One example of this convention's flawless implementation appears in the latest film in the series, Bushido 10, Fade to Black. The scene in which the powerful Gororia excuse me, disembodies the arms of Jake, as played by the transcendent Tim Kelly, demonstrates in brilliant form the duality of human condition. On the hand, I'm sorry, on the one hand, Jake loses his cybernetic arm, a symbol of both his tragic past and the ongoing techno. Damn, there's a lot more to this guy. Uh, ontological conflict within his psyche. On the other hand, it is precisely due to this dismemberment that Gororia is blown to bloody bits by the sensational explosion sequence and the final disintegration of the antagonist's body into a blood spray of gore. How should this be interpreted? It is a metaphorical cry of deeply rooted despair, a manifestation of the personal transgression, the figmentation of a body, sorry, of body could like, likewise be interpreted as fragmentation of the individual mind. Thus provoking the question, whose mind, indeed, had everything uh, the viewer's scene of Jake's struggle been, in fact, a personified embodied fear? Had he not been embroiled in epic battle with a vile monster, but rather only himself? Could the entirety of Jake's narrative been only a manifestation of some cyber-psychotic dream state? Among all the depth and nuance that has defined this franchise since its inception, only one thing is truly certain. Bushido has forever changed the world of cinema. All right, so I'm going to say this dude dig way too deep into it. Uh, he's a pretentious prick, from what I could tell. And it was just a movie where he just the director just wanted to see chicks like kill the shit out of things. <laughs> that's my take on it and this dude was probably a pretentious prick for reading it but at the same time I'm glad he was trying to better himself I'll take that Out. I'll give you a put rub, 
Who would have thought? Well, well. Either they're planning a costume party, or they're gearing up for a different sort of party. I'm intrigued in either case. Hmm? Save my life. Huh? My name is Gans. Wait, we read this before. Oh, we're trying to yeah, yeah. Gonzalo Rivera's funeral. Hmm? Our friend of many years fell in battle during a shootout with the NC pigs. Uh, Gonzalo Rivera. He was like a brother to us. If you want to pay your respects, not like it's a fucking choice, go to the La Caterina funeral home. Praise be huh? to Santa Muerte. And remember, she gives life as she takes life. So chingada madre pinche perra sarnosa. Hmm? You forget this not escape the scene. Conversation between Luis, sorry, uh, Jose and Roberto. Can't right now. What's up? That caregiver never showed up. I'm here alone. Esa pinche puta. I'll send one of the boys to help you. No. I need you. I can't. Abuelito. Abuelito. Sorry. Abuelito. Uh, I have to stay put. Please, just come. I can't even stand up. I had an accident. I don't want them to see me. Oh, sorry. I don't want them to see. I really can't. I'll send someone you can trust. Don't worry. It happens. Fuck this. No. And stop saying shit like that to every single caregiver. Maybe then uh, we won't have this problem. Hey, al carajo, Go the fuck out. I'm a fucking die here waiting. Que mierda. Find out why the NCPD dropped the investigation. Te escondes como una perrita? Ay, cuántos años tienes, eh? Last warning. Jose, our patience has its limits. We paid your bail because we already invest invested in you. And investments need returns. ¿Qué pinche jueguito you're not es este? untouchable. Carajo, you fuck up again, you get in another gonk shootout. Instead of our help, you'll get a rope around your neck. Remember, 
Arisaka pays for solving problems and punishes for creating the rules. Oh, and stay close to the hollow. We'll call you soon and tell you exactly how you're going to attack our facility. Remember that people need to die and that you have to use the Militech equipment. We give you. If you call me a bitch one more time, I'm going to come down there and punch you in the face. Alright, uh, to the media, it has to look like Militech squad attacked Arasaka facility, that's all. Alright. Yeah. Te voy a encontrar, mierdita. Grandpa's gonna find you, Zora. It's me, took care of Jose. The car's on its way. Did you learn who busted him out after he killed that batch? Arasaka. Arasaka. <laughs> You're telling me a mega corp was involved in the killing of some ordinary big cop? Joffrey's death was an accident. Jose was covered for another reason. I'm still listening. He and his crew were hired to launch a full-blown assault on an Arasaka facility. And do it using Militech equipment. Attacking Arasaka. On Arasaka's behalf. Shit. You need to get out of there. Seeing as I'm already here, I could stick around, try to find out more. Won't find nothing you don't already know. Location's already blown. You know more than you're telling. Spill. I'm just speculating here, but... Out with it. There's a good chance that Arasaka's looking to pick a serious fight with Militech. Maybe even all-out war. And? Jose's hit was meant to be their excuse? Kinda slim, don't you think? It's not just Jose. I've heard of other cases. Same MO. This runs deep, V. Not deep. But why, is there... but why war? You're still picking up pieces from the last one. No bigger smokescreen than war. Maybe they need the attention of something else. Not sure I even want to know. You, Padre? Not this time, no. Not my board. Not my game. See you around, B. Yeah, be seeing you. Be seeing you. Fuck! 
Pide ayuda. I don't know. I feel like I'm the smartest driver here. <laughs> I know all these people are upset, but you know, that's their problem. <laughs> Centered it. works once you crunch down the bits. Fuck this. Well, it was worth trying. Oh wait, let's buy that car while we're just sitting here doing nothing. That's it. 75 grand? Hell yeah. yeah. Ow, you piece of shit. <laughs> You're lucky I don't find you and commit vehicle combat on you. <laughs> Best car in the game is driving wise, like the one that drives the least like crap. <laughs> all of them kind of feel equally like crap so far. Except for the Quadro is slightly better. So this is a heavily modified Quadro, I guess. That kind of drives like all wheel drive, I think. It doesn't feel super great. Just delete the thing. There we go. All right. 
I did say we finally are strong enough to do the funeral. Oh, that turn felt kind of good. Oh, you don't have to hit the handbrake to do good turns. That's good. So yeah, no handbrake necessary. You just gotta control the wheel. Not bad, not bad. I think I can get used to this. So I'll probably go back to driving and go. Yeah, the game lagged dude, to calculate the damage on that one. I got places to be. Just running down the last groups of pedestrians. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not used to the car. Okay, so we got in before. But, uh, not like we were super great. Any day now. Any day now, NCPD, let me go. There it is. I am. Yes? Can I help you? How's it going? Hey, you got any special offers? Depends. You want to cremate somebody? Or make a purchase for yourself? Don't you think it's a little too soon from, uh... for me? Always better to be insured. If you pay now, you can get a 50% discount with our latest cremation salvation package. She reminds me of the blonde girl Come on from now. High That's just too good to be true. But it is true. The details are Actually, in our complimentary so information booklet. All right. I'm from the Grayer I'm family. I'm a member of the Grayer family. I'd like to see the body. I'm afraid that won't be possible. Access to the morgue is employee restricted. I a job application? <laughs> It's only one compared to before. Get a job. Stop scaring people. Your mom scares people. That's why you look so horrendous. I'm gonna miss 
with you, Daddy. <laughs> Listening's a skill, you know. That was a full-on garage. It's open. Drunk. Legendary upgrade. This time I can actually do this. Last time I couldn't. Nice. A lot of stuff. Hello. Probably one of my groupies. <laughs> What? How would you know? Dude, what is with them and seeing through walls right now? Empieza a rezar! I get the window. The initial window, I get. But then when I moved away, it's like they all could see me through the wall. It's so weird. Okay, so maybe it won't jack in there. You know, just in case I don't do it on the way out. Curious. Very curious. C. So A. D.
It did not look like his legs went in all the way. It's Jim. I like how I hit the brake, it wasn't doing enough, so I hit the handbrake and it didn't do it too. <laughs> Still in a bit. Ouch! My phone can't go. sent from heaven be. The demon possessed shards on its way to the client, just like your money is on its way to you. Closing the contract. Thank you. Side has sixers. What the suicide got? Valentino's. Okay.
Have that. I'll give you a foot rub, mommy. Oh fuck. I keep forgetting how vulnerable I am. <laughs> I got too confident from beating up the first guy. Ah, oh, shit. Sorry. You alright? Yeah, you're moving. I see you were doing. Good enough. Just in case. Well, I was going to put it in the trunk. We'll just imagine we put it in the trunk. How about that? Oh, you can't double jump at that point. Alright. Oh, well, someone was trying to be a uh, Las Vegas shooter over here. <laughs> See some choice ass targets though. Where there is No I don't have upgrades for it, but let's give it a try. Dude, its damage is garbage. You know what here, let's have a quick little fantasy run. Kinda looks like the M107 or something. See more bad guys. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> Living the life of a uh, Punisher type of guy. Blast all these people through the head and whatnot. Pretty sure your legs ain't supposed to bend that way. Just saying. Wasn't bad though. That was good shoot. Guess that's what happens when you turn off people's brains sometimes. They end up with chicken legs. It is hard to achieve peace if there is a demon never leaving. Well, yes. Contemplation is like the silence in the eye of the storm. Yes, sir. You. you start to fade. You have no strong roots to this world. You are losing touch with yourself. You must purify yourself. Regain your equilibrium. I can help you. Sit down. Well, I can't sit. Is this a prank? Someone's Is this some kind of prank? Someone's scrolling all this? Normally you are open to new things, but now you are afraid. Fine. You've been watching me? What's all this about? Meditation. You mean, like, being zen? Precisely. Why is the skin all lighting up like that? Okay, I'm listening. 
In the city, you are cut off from nature. Metal, concrete canyons, neon eyes. The filth of the world suffocates you. It sure is a no Zen garden. You must become still. Restore the bond within yourself. You are the source. All which you must do is draw from it. Are you ready? <sighs> What's in it for me? I want specifics. What's in it for me? Self-fulfillment. You shall hear your voice, and only yours. All else will become silent. A little more specific than that. You cannot exile yourself from your own life. Let's do it. I'll give it a shot, why not? I will give you a meditative brain dance that will liberate your consciousness. Give me? You can pay me however much you wish. Okay. This should cut it. Very well. The initial techniques of meditation are best undertaken with supervision. Let us begin. I will guide you. Mm, guided meditation. <laughs> we. This is a meditation of the earth element. Spirit of nature, Mother Earth, I send you greetings. We are of one blood. I am you. You are me. Oh, Mother Earth, I and all other creatures from you created. No, I can't. Cleanse my right. body and soul from pain, sickness, impurity, and the negative energy from negative people, worlds, and dimensions. Mm. Give me the Good energy time. of life. Give me health, youth, wisdom, knowledge, strength, joy, happiness, and inner peace. <sighs> we walk the earth through meadows, nature in full bloom. We remove our shoes, feel our bare feet touch the soil. We absorb the Earth's energy. We sense joy, tranquility, lightness, purity, our heart and soul. We walk the Earth. A butterfly rests on blooming flower. Bees are gathering nectar. Warmth and joy surrounds us. Our legs absorb the Earth's energy, filling every cell of our bodies. Our souls and spirits are cleansed. now we thank you mother earth with our mind body and soul there is no life without you or the other elements he was never even there um hello Nice vanishing trick. Okay, so he didn't rob me. Second there, I was like, he's gonna rob me. Sex hunt with his new job. I dig that. really knocking out missions today like a lot of nice ones just right near each other and stuff what's up guys how do i become one of you okay
suspicion. Murderous. Very good, right after a meditation. <laughs> I think that has something to do with mindfulness. You have to do your mindfulness exercises. You have to kill people. The fuck? They're shooting me through the fucking surfaces too, man. All I did against that guy is I defended myself. Screens comes beat now we're out. I think there was one more. There he is. Got what they deserved. And the cops are cheating, so extra fuck that. <laughs> You can have all your other vehicles kind of displayed. <laughs> Jacked and cooked. Sounds like a great place. Come on, NCBD, drop the shit. Oh, 
¿Por qué chingados metes las pinches narices donde no te llaman? Rico, what's shaking, brother? Why the long face play? You should oh, you know. Cougar without Wait raising the alarm. You should have screwed, bro. Yeah, I'm just here to play games. What's the deal with this one? Alright. There's a time for forgiveness and time for revenge. There's a time for turning the other cheek and a time for crushing your enemies like the roaches they are. In the words of the prophet Jeremiah, cursed... Sorry, bro. <clears throat> Sorry, I have issues. Uh, cursed is he who keeps their sword from bloodshed. The man who you're to eliminate is Kurabo uh, Bere, something like that. He's an old timer, but don't let appearances fool you. He used to be a solo. He killed my friends, people who were like brothers and, fr uh, and sisters to me. Sisters to me, uh, when all hell broke loose in Night City, he fled to the East Coast. Now he's back, probably thinking everyone forgot about him, and not me. Kurobo runs a filthy dive that serves as Valentino's hangout. Go there and show him that nobody can avoid the hand of justice. And try not to make a scene, okay? Be professional. No unnecessary attention. Dante Dorado, Mascal, Bourbon, Lime, Dark Chocolate, Gold Flakes, Santa Cecilia, Tequila, Matcha, uh, Ceremuyo Cream, Almond Milk, Flor de Muertos, Black Spice Rum, Triple Sec, Taurine, Orange Blossom Water, Marigold Petals, Compa de Haywood, Tequila, Rope, Night. Reposado, black spice rum, lime, seeded jalapeno, uh, soy sauce, quinceanera, uh, amaretto, triple sec, rose water, lime. Not bad, not bad. Some of those sound actually really good. Sorry, 
I like that some of these people have names. This way will be this way. to just help myself back here. Oh, fuck you off, you I, I literally went to grab him and it took away the ability as I knew it was anyway. <laughs> That's All right, you win this round. I'll get you next time. Be easy. That went a lot smoother than it should have, too. What the hell? Let's check it out. I mean, I didn't care. I'm just standing here, dude. Last time you guys left me. So why was I allowed to the first time, not allowed to the second time?
んだい I like his jump and like Superman punch kind of thing going on. Like it looks so goofy. <sighs> I think after this song I'm gonna have to get some food. We just won't loot. We'll go straight for the door. I do need to mark the guy who's inside this so it's not fucking it up. Come on, Valentinos. Do you think? It's always going to cost one. One more sec and I'll reset face to Andale, take the wheel! Come on. No tengo munición, no te ajudo! What is that that guy out of the Cover me! I need cover! <laughs> fucking shot him in the face, suddenly he was gone. <laughs> Let's go back. <sighs> Starting to feel dizzy. <laughs> Even though I ate earlier, so I have no idea what's going on. I'm just too hot, because the room is starting to get really hot. I have no idea why, though. Alright, 
so I need to remark the old man, and then I'll wait till he's standing somewhere else. Because him right next to the door is kind of hard to work with. And once he moves away to like look in a different direction, then I'll do all that. What's with this guy? Será mejor que cheque. I'm just gonna say scum. Not even wait for the death. So fucking frustrating. Outstanding payments. Pascal until Friday, Romero paid up. Inez calculate interest once once Haslo uh, paid up. Area till Friday. Sylvester calculate interest. <laughs> How did they fucking find the body? You are bullshitting me. Huh? Read all these in a second. This game, dude. Thanks to you, I'll be the one taking Karubo on his Through journey from our earthly plane, closing the gate. Praise be to thee. I get the bonus.
<sighs> I said we we're gonna read that stuff, so let me set that up real quick. The fact that there was nothing <sighs> like there's no way they saw that body. <laughs> Okay, you're back. Fuck, Chum. Is it true that they're saying on the... What they're saying on the streets? You're back in Night City? We ought to remind the town just who you... We are again, man. Night City's even more fucked up than it used to be. Hit me up, voice. Nice to have you back. Heard you back in Night City. You thought I wouldn't find out? Uh, that I just forget? It's either of those you're wrong. Hope you're covered by trauma team. Who knows what might have uh, an accident. Fairly Arizona, something like that. Fucked up name. Uh, confession number four. 432. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. A confession should begin with me listing, uh, it says me sins, but I cannot. I know I have murdered, but I don't know how many. I know I have tortured, but I don't remember who or why. I know I have raped, but all of their faces blend together. My memory fails me because I abuse psycho stims uh, for focus, reflexes, and to dull the pain. The last 15 years of my life are like a corrupted video file. All I can recall are pieces, the kind that keep me up at night. I'm back in Night City now. I don't know why or what I'm looking for. Maybe atonement, maybe death. After all, I came back knowing I have many enemies here. I sincerely repent and promise to improve myself as a man. But if I were to say um, why I deserve your mercy, Lord, I, 203 words remaining, pay an extra 10% now to guarantee your absolution. <laughs> it's funny. Alright. Still didn't get paid, so... I don't know what's up with that. He keeps doing the salt and fog, guys, but not actually. Sucking suits. Hey, whoa, what's going on here? Fuck you looking at! Nothing to see here. Move along! These pills take a couple of hits. Like, damn, now I just get fucking. Flexed on constantly. Let me try the sword. None of my ah. the pain out. Hit me. Copy that. Ah, okay. I defeated them, <laughs> but I died at the same time. Go with guns. 
What is my hardest hitting gun out of the two? 314, 500. It doesn't feel like 500 though, but I guess. Fuck you looking at! Nothing to see here. Move along! Rise and shine, Corpo Swine. Uh, oh, fuck. <coughs> uh, uh, <coughs> Shit. <coughs> well, if it wasn't for you, I'd be... Well, uh, thank you. Were you sent by the company? Wrong answer. Then, hold on. What do you want from me? Nothing. What they want from you? The truth. What did they want from you? I have no idea. They said something about some slut and a virtue. But when I asked what I had to do with it, they started beating on me so hard, I thought I'd die. Uh, this city's really going down the drain. For the police to do this, in plain sight, for no reason. All right, well, I didn't want anything. Go on, get out of here. But I don't understand, just like that, for nothing in return. Nothing? I, I don't, I don't believe you. You saved me just like that because you felt like it? Hey, cop. Don't measure others by your own uh -huh. yardstick, prick. Yeah, the visa. And plus, I spattered them all, so it should help make it feel better. Gotta see Gustavo. Who? Oh, think you got the wrong address. Gotta see Gustavo. Who? Oh, think you got the wrong address. Can I put two more into it? Yes, I can. I 
give you to Santa Muerte. Between Gustavo and Kurabo, no, Karabo. Uh, there's a problem. You heard what happened? Those Bendejos from Sixth? What, ha what about them? You must find them and thank them for me. I pay well. Why ask me? I can't drag my people into this. And I hear you used to have a talent for giving thanks. Not wrong, am I? No, it's true. Used to is right. Testing the waters. Fine. I'll double the pay. Double of zero is still zero. Looking to start a private war with 6th Street? You asked the wrong man. Just double check. Me, Jose and Gustavo. Heard what happened. You're in our prayers, amigo. We're holding a mass for Martha to ask for the good Lord for a quick recovery. Prayers? Thanks. Uh, I don't know what else you need, but me and the boys are here for you anytime. One call and we're there. Your car. Gotta admit, we didn't expect much from your ride, but we breathed new life into her somehow. Looked like you dragged it back from the front lines of a war zone, amigo. Anyways, we replaced the radiators, doctored the bodywork, and put in bulletproof glass for the rear uh, windows, like you asked. She's ready for pickup in two days. Eyes on M. Cariza. It's quick work. The hospital. You know which. I need 24 hour surveillance and I need it now. In in case some fucker from 6 tries to get in M's room. One of the nurses is my cousin, Jose. He'll take you 
It'll take you two through the kitchen. The net's probably secure tight, but that part's up to you. Uh, senior. I'm guessing it's senior when they say it like that. Uh, Chair Jack Costado. Sad word controversy in football? Never before in a single night has a crowd snapped so abruptly and so frequently between euphoric cheers and deafening silences. The most recent match between Night City Corsairs and San Diego Shredders ended in an overwhelming victory for Night City. But it was another team that stole the spotlight. Trauma team, paramedics airlifted out a, re a record seven players during the game due to potentially life-threatening injuries. Uh, three still remain in stable but critical. The game's unusual spike in injuries was a result of months long feud between the two franchises that had hit a boiling point. Shredder's head coach Darnell Irving has a repeatedly accused the Corsairs of breaking league ru rules by allowing players to equip military grade uh, cyberware. Corsairs organization representatives have refuted the allegations claiming the rules contain no such clear-cut cyberware guidelines. Uh, Night City's head coach even went so far as to say that San Diego would be wise to make the same upgrade instead of crying like babies whenever they get their asses kicked. What does he mention, however, is... Or what he doesn't mention, however, is the Night City Corsairs have sponsored a deal with Night Corp. Uh, granting them exclusive rights to equipment uh, designed in Night Corp, uh, yeah, Night Corp's top secret football science lab, Salt in the Wound. Of course, I'm persuaded the San Diego faithful have argued to the league that the use of military grade technology is damaging to the game's integrity and future. Football analysts uh, and commentators, on the other hand, have dismissed the controversy, saying the arms race uh, mentality has always been pervasive in sports. Their case in point, the 2064 Night City Marathon, in a record, <sighs> record setting and uncontested victory, Austrian runner Dominic Bohm uh, blazed past favorites from Czechoslovakia and France because of Vienna's close uh, partnership with the Zeta Tech. car all right we came we saw we kicked their ass Just 
because I was already planning on shooting you two. Thank you once again, uh, Suchana Mana, and there's one other. Just didn't show up on that list. And Austin Clements. Thank you once again. Like I said, welcome to Mobile Infantry Trooper. Now you're both one of us. Um, dad advice for today. That advice is, it's okay to not do anything, to take a moment to breathe and think about what to do next. I mean, enough said. And then, pan of nonsense. Depression is just a big word for I have the big sad and parental issues sometimes. <laughs> but honestly, um, yeah, take some time for yourself, take care of yourselves. Uh, don't wear yourselves out. Remember to breathe. Have a wonderful evening. It's been Beard. Later. <laughs>